Hi, welcome back to another video. Is that what people say? Today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit serious, and I'm going to be reading off my phone because I don't want to fuck this up. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's all the intro you need. You're, you'll figure it out. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, and I haven't known how to approach it without being too revealed online as a 16 year old girl, but also presenting the body I've hated for so long to the world. I've struggled with body confidence a lot, especially as one of the many girls who've grown up on social media and watching America's Next Top Model. I've never been skinny skinny, and I don't fit into plus size. My body is just a shape that isn't represented a lot in media, both TV-wise and in adverts. So I never felt like I was attractive because I'm a body type that I never see people loving in the media that tells me what's right and wrong in the world. It's taken a lot of working to realize my body isn't beautiful because of its shape or malleability into what society's flavor of the month is beautiful because of what it does for me. It's beautiful because women are beautiful, and sometimes I look at myself and just want to be painted, and sometimes I look at myself and just want to tear myself apart, and that's okay. I just have to make sure the days when I love myself are more than the days that I don't. I wish I didn't live in a world in which girls were shamed for being too fat and other girls are shamed for being too skinny, because I see so many beautiful women pass through my life. <laughs> with hearts of gold and bodies that deserve to be painted who just loathe themselves because people have torn themselves because people have torn them apart I can't read anymore <laughs> because people have torn them apart their whole lives love your curves and your rolls love your bones and your skin every stretch mark and scar I have is what makes me me and my body doesn't look like the girls I follow on Instagram <sighs> fuck my body doesn't look like the girls I follow on Instagram or see on TV, but in what fucking universe does that mean I'm not beautiful too? You are beautiful for everything that makes you unique. Every bend and bulge makes up a whole human being that deserves to be seen as art every single day of your life. To my women, and to my men, and to my beautiful non-binary humans, own yourself and be proud to look like you, whatever form that takes. Fuck, that was hard. <laughs> So I've kind of gotten that out of the way. I wanted to say that. <laughs> but anyway, to get a little deeper. <sighs> Fuck. Um, body confidence is something that I have thoroughly struggled with uh, for the primary parts of my life. Um, and that is because I, I'm a shape that I don't see a lot. Um, Unless it's in a Dove ad, maybe. Um, and it's it's hard, you know, shopping online, stuff like that. Being too wide or too short for everything. And just having all this love. I'm crying because I love everything too much. What is this? I have all this love for the people that I see and the people that I encounter. And I don't have any of that for myself. I see my mom. I see my mom, who is the most beautiful girl in the world to me, and she she doesn't love herself because of what she looks like, and because that doesn't fit of her mental image of what she should be, even though that's it's my mom. <laughs> Make anybody be able to post this. I'm such a fake. This isn't this isn't a video about body confidence. This is just me having a mental breakdown on camera. Whew. No, okay. <laughs> I just I just want to say every girl who has come through my life, every beautiful, beautiful girl, like Nina and my best friend and fucking my own mother, have we've all hated ourselves. Because no matter what we look like, we are told we're not enough. We're too fat, or we are too skinny. But no matter what these girls look like, whether they are skinny, or whether they are fat, or whether they have big or small boobs, or big or small butts, they are always told that they're not good enough. What is good enough? And, uh, who the fuck is saying this? <laughs> Who gets to tell me that I'm not pretty? <sighs> Do you see why I wrote this down? I don't know why I tried to go off script. <sighs> I just... 
I am sick of the people I think are the most who are the most beautiful girls in the world thinking that they aren't beautiful because boys keep telling them or because other girls keep telling them. It gets to the point where you're told so often that when someone tells you otherwise, when someone tells you you're beautiful, you don't believe it. Because you'll believe anything if you're told it enough times, especially if it goes with what your head is already telling you. And if your head is telling you you're not pretty enough, you're not skinny enough, which a lot of the time it is, when someone reinforces that and tells you that you're right, you believe it. So I just want to tell you, and I want to tell myself, that no matter how many people tell me I'm not enough, no matter how often I tell myself I'm not enough, I am enough, and you are enough, and what makes you beautiful is not how skinny you are, and not how thick you are, and not how much sex you can have. What makes you beautiful is you. That's it. It's just you. You are beautiful, no matter what the fuck you look like. So fucking... Hope you enjoyed this video of me fucking losing my shit. Anyway... Love you, bye.